Hey guys, welcome to the third lecture of the DIP series. This is Anushree and today I'm going to teach you sampling and quantization. Now, if you haven't watched the previous videos yet, then kindly do so. I'll include the link in the description box. Now, what is sampling and quantization? This is a topic which many students find difficult to comprehend. Now, in order to use an image, we need to convert it from an analog image to a digital image, right? That is when the computer can use it. So in order to make an image suitable for digital processing, an image function must be digitized both spatially and in amplitude. This digitization process involves two main processes, sampling, which is digitizing the coordinate value and quantization, which is digitizing the amplitude value. Okay, so for an image to be made suitable for digital processing, it needs to be sampled and quantized. Now let's understand this concept with the help of an example. Okay, so here I've drawn an image which has different intensity values. Okay, the black color represents low intensity and the white and blue color represents high intensity. Okay, so let's just write this down here. The black color represents low intensity. Okay, and the gray portion, if you can see this part, it represents a little slightly higher intensity. Okay, slightly higher. And then as it goes here, the blue color represents medium intensity, I would say. The light blue, it represents high intensity. And if you look at the white color, which is the color surrounding this image, that represents very high intensity. Okay, so in this way, I have drawn an image for you with different intensity values. Now, in order to uh, use sampling and quantization, what we'll do is, let's take a line AB through this image. Now, to understand sampling and quantization, what we'll do is, we'll just scan through this line, okay? We'll see where, at which all places, we're getting different intensity values. And based on that, we draw a graph. So suppose, if we, if we scan through this part, it has white color. White color represents very high intensity. So that's why, let's draw it like this. Now, suddenly from white, it changes to black. Black is low intensity. So, which means that suddenly the graph would go like this. Okay, low intensity. And then as we move towards the inside of the image, it goes from black to gray to blue. So, the intensity value is increasing. So, that's why we would draw it like this. Okay. And then as we move to the center of the image, it becomes light blue, which is high intensity. So that's why the graph is going like this. Now again, when we go towards the end, that is this region, the intensity value decreases. So we'll draw the graph like this. Now why am I drawing these little tiny lines like this? That is because of the noise. So because of the noise, we're drawing a graph like this. Now at this point, the intensity value suddenly increases from black to white. So we'll again draw a line like this. And then this area, this region, it's white color, which is very high intensity. So we'll draw it like this. So now uh, if we look at the values, if suppose this is a grayscale image, then the values, the pixel values will be from 0 
to 255 where 255 represents light color or very high intensity and zero represents black color or low intensity okay now what we'll do is to understand this graph completely and to digitize this image we'll divide this entire coordinate system into equal parts small and equal parts okay so let's just divide this into equal parts and this whole process of dividing the image into equal parts dividing the coordinate values into equal parts is called sampling all right why are we doing this so that we get the values at the points at the smaller points if we take this part if we take this region then we'll we can take the intensity value from here okay where this represents 255 okay uh, the pixel value which is 255 and this represents 0 0 is low intensity 255 is high intensity so at this particular region in this particular region we can get the intensity value in this region we can get the intensity value so that is why we are sampling the image we, which means that we are dividing, dividing it into smaller equal parts now what is quantization what we'll do is we'll take a key here okay and this now here this is low intensity low intensity is black color so we'll just uh, draw black color here okay then it becomes gray so this is basically just a key what we did with the help of this we drew the graph so that is why we're doing this it becomes gray a little lighter version becomes blue lighter blue even lighter blue and white now this process is known as quantization what are we doing here we are digitizing the amplitude of the image okay so with the help of this graph now we can digitize this entire image how is that now we have just drawn a b here to get the intensity values at each of these points and then we have drawn the graph based on it similarly we can draw even more lines to get the intensity values at each of these points okay and we can draw similar graphs for all those points and then we'll digitize the image now I've drawn the same analog image here which we had and I have divided the image into smaller pixel values okay each of these squares represents a pixel now I have to digitize the image so in order to do that I will take the help of the graph suppose we had a b somewhere around here right for which we had drawn the graph so now when we have the analog image this one square can be half empty and half full but when we digitize it it cannot be half empty and half full it has to be either empty or either full so that is why what we'll do is now here only a small portion here only a small portion of it is filled okay the rest of it is not filled so that is why we we'll leave this square as empty here the complete square is filled and that to measure of it is gray color so what we'll do is this square we'll fill it with gray color okay and if you are not sure of which color it is we can also take help from the graph here it is blue color majority of it is blue color and is completely filled so that is why we'll color it with blue when we come to this a majority of it is filled 
and that too with black or gray color darker version of gray color so we'll fill it here okay so similarly now we had a graph for this so with the help of the graph we could draw this but for the other values we don't have a graph so that is why in sampling and quantization we draw graphs for each of these lines and that is how we draw the digital image we get the digital image now i've roughly drawn the digital image here i know that this image hardly looks like our analog image but that is because this is done with the help of a pen and paper okay when it is done on computers these pixel values are taken even smaller so that the digital image which we get is more accurate and precise okay but i hope that you understand the concept behind sampling and quantization in order to use an image for digital processing we need to first convert it from analog to digital okay and in order to do so we use the processes of sampling and quantization where sampling is digitizing the coordinate values and quantization is digitizing the amplitude values so this was the whole concept behind sampling and quantization i'll see you in the next one